Hey guys, today's video I'm going to show you how to remove your aneroid pin on your 1HDT fuel injection pump and also grind it slightly so you can install it without having to strip down half the pump. So what you first have to do is just take out these, five, uh, these four allen key bolts here. They're a 5mm allen key. Um, I suggest using one that has a rounded head on it like this one so you can get to the back ones uh, because you do have to go in on an angle so if you try to use a normal one uh, possibly cut it down but you might strip the allen keys out now if you've never removed this before they might be pretty damn tight so if it feels like it's going to strip um, stop and what you can do is get some good um, something like WD-40 or I've got another one that's a little bit better than that spray it on there and also uh, get a punch and a hammer and hit the heads of the bolts and what that will do is break up any rust or corrosion that's in there and then you should be able to loosen them off. So once we've done that, loosen off all four and we'll just pull the cap off. Now you can just pull this hose off here, remove the cap completely, I'm just going to tuck it out of the way um, so I don't break the seal there and uh, one less thing to remove. So I'll just do that now and I'll show you what it looks like underneath. Okay I've removed all four allen key bolts, now we're just going to remove the top cover plate. Now if it's been a while, the diaphragm might be slightly stuck to the top plate, so just lift up a little bit, and if you find it stuck, just work your finger around there to loosen it so it doesn't pull out with the plate. Now under here, you can see this top screw. This is your low uh, or off boost adjustment fueling. And what it is, is underneath, um, it's just like a little cam plate, slightly offset. So you can only actually turn this 360 degrees sort of see that it's on a slight angle so if you turn it where I have it now you can see where it's been rubbing it's on the minimum side the lowest side which means the diaphragm will be fully up if you turn it to max then this diaphragm on its idle position so when you're not on boost will be say pushed down slightly which will inject a little bit more fuel so uh, despite what the internet says sometimes uh, if you turn this 360 degrees you're just going to go back to minimum again so it's, it's not like you can turn this out three turns and it's going to decrease your fuel even more. It only works on 360 degrees. So. Now I've taken my diaphragm out before, so I've marked all my settings. So you can see here I've got um, less or more, and then I've got an L and an M as well. <clears throat> so in relation to the front, you can see this little hole here. There's your follower pin behind there. So we're working off the front follower pin. As a reference point so you can see them about about there now that there is the maximum so if I turned it to here that's max fueling when I pull this out you'll see what I mean and if I turn it 180 degrees that's completely minimum but also having said that the ramps um, from low to max is a different ramp on either side so if you go here for example you have a little bit more fuel than low but if you go there it'll be sort of in between those two so there's a lesser ramp on this side so if you go from there to there you are injecting more fuel but if you move the same amount this way you'll be injecting even more fuel it's a slightly um, higher pitched angle ramp so now we're on the lower we'll pull this out now this is probably where you're going to get start to get a bit scared so you thought you just screwed up so we'll pull this out and here is the anaerobic pin so this is what your fueling is adjusted by you can see how it's got a different ramp on there so the minimum is at the bottom and then this gets pushed down from boost and then it injects more fuel so your boost comes in from the top there in that line pushes on top of this diaphragm and when your boost increases this pushes down a little follow-up pin slides up there and inside the pump it injects more fueling so you can see how the ramp changes as it's turned so what you have to do now is mark on the top where lower and maximum is so you got a good reference point and then you can set it up now to install this back in there um, generally this will be fully flat on the bottom and you won't actually be able to put it back in because it will jam up on the follow-up pin that's inside. So what you need to do is grind a little angle on it like I've done. I sort of followed a similar angle 
to the ramp on the follow-up pin. My camera does not want to focus currently. I might take a photo and put it in the video, but you can see that it's I've ground a slight angle on it. So just use an angle grinder uh, or bench grinder and then finish it off with a file and some sandpaper to get it nice and smooth. And then once you've put that ramp on there, when you install it back in, you install it with the ramp facing forward and it will slide past. You shouldn't have require too much pressure to put it in, only a little bit, so if you're forcing it too much, you probably don't have a good enough angle on there. Then you'll see this spring here as well, which you can adjust the tension of this spring with this little clicker wheel. Now that spring, obviously if you're running half a bar of boost, <clears throat> to go from minimum to maximum on this, you require a less spring pressure to if you're running 20 psi. If you're running 20 psi, it just go straight down straight away, and you just be black smoking the whole time. So, because of this, you can adjust this spring tension um, depending on what boost you're running. I've made a little video on how to set up this spring tension correctly based on what boost you're running. So if you go into my videos, I'll link it in the bottom of this video as well and just watch that to set this spring tension. And once you set the spring tension to your desired boost level, you can start having a play with this. You no longer have to take it out again. You can just rotate this, take it for a drive, rotate it again, take it for a drive until you're happy with the fueling. So that's how to modify it and how just basically how it all works. So thanks for watching my video guys and I'll see you later.